reaction to the guilty verdict is rolling in from Bay Area lawmakers, law enforcement officials, and also the sports teams in our area. Beth Russo has what leaders here are saying this Wednesday morning. Good morning to you, Beth. Good morning, David, and those local leaders say that the death and this verdict of George Floyd reaches far beyond just this singular case. So the latest reaction that we've seen is from the Buccaneers. I've got the statement that they put out on Twitter pulled up for you. It reads in part, there still remains much work left to be done. And that's really the sentiment echoed by all members of this community that we're hearing from, as well as USF students. I think it was more about the power of the people. I think the mass protests really pushed them to put, put out that verdict. Aid on Your Side is reaching out to many local law enforcement leaders about this verdict. In a statement, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judge says in part, as I said at the time, the video and facts came to light. Had Mr. Chauvin done in Polk County what he did in Minneapolis, he would have been fired and arrested that night. State Senator Daryl Rusan wants more work to be done to end police brutality. No verdict can bring a life back, but it can serve justice. And I believe justice has been served. And we should continue to move forward with all deliberate speed in getting real reform at all levels, systemic and individually by each individual officer. And we've also been talking to leaders of local organizations who say they believe they know what could really improve the relationship between local police officers and the community. I'll tell you the changes that they're calling for coming up at 7. We're live in Tampa this morning. Beth Russo, 8 on your side.